Good morning, everyone. My name is Ryan O'Quinn, and I'm the regional director uh, for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada for the BC Yukon region. I look forward to welcoming you to this very first leukemia conference here in Vancouver. So this is a really exciting day for all of us. This conference has been traveling across the country with the goal to bring Canadians affected by leukemia together to provide information and support. Last year it was held in Montreal and next year in Toronto, but this year we get Vancouver. As many of you have heard through registration, it's actually been full for months. We were full by the end of June. So that shows that there's a real strong need for leukemia education here in our city. I want to quickly introduce some of the Leukemia Lymphoma Society of Canada staff. So if you hear me say the words LLSC, that's the Leukemia Lymphoma Society of Canada. But we have a few staff members here on site today. So uh, at the back here, we have Erica Canast, our Manager of Community and Fund Development. Sherris Ho as well, with her there. Our Coordinator of Community and Fund Development, uh, Amelia Sarre, sat up over here at the front, uh, who is our office uh, administrator. And we also have Megan Norrish, who I know many of you already know and will introduce uh, just later on, our Community Engagement Manager. Uh, we also have a national staff member here from Montreal, Pascal Rousseau. She's uh, not in the room at the moment, but she is found at the front table at registration. She also has a red lanyard, and uh, she's fully fluent in French. So she's bilingual. So if there are any French speakers in the room today who would like a little bit of clarity uh, or have any questions in French, uh, feel free to ask her. Uh, we're all just really happy to spend this day with you, and we're going to do our best to make it enjoyable and to make it informative. So if you do have any questions, just look for a red lanyard and we'll do our best to help you and assist you. I want to take a quick moment to offer a very special thanks to the, Conling, uh, the Collings Family Foundation, who generously provided the funding for this conference. Honestly, we are so grateful for this opportunity and to have you here today. So I would like to, yes, thank you. So I'd like to welcome Al Collings to come up and say a couple words uh, to welcome you all to the room today. So thanks so much again to Al Collings and the Collings Family Foundation. I haven't prepared any remarks. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming. It's an honor to work with such incredible people, Megan, Ryan, all the volunteers. Uh, Lisa Mikado from Toronto was my first introduction to the CML network when I started Googling who to talk to. Um, I was diagnosed three years ago with CML, and it's, um, it's a tough story. But after the shock, you get through it, you realize, and now when I tell people, I won the cancer lottery. And... They think that's bad. And I said, no, no, this is a good story. <laughs> this is a really good story, because if you're going to get one, you get this one. Because of all the research that's been done, uh, I was telling the, uh, another participant about Dr. Peter Drucker. You should read that story. Uh, it's fascinating. But anyway, I won't go on. There's more important things to talk about. Uh, my wife, my family, and I really want to say thank you to all of you for an opportunity to give back. Thank you. Thanks so much, Al. I also wanted to thank all of the speakers for volunteering so generously their time and, for, and their expertise and for being here today. It's Saturday, it's a long weekend, and there are a lot of demands on our speakers. So honestly, we're absolutely honored to have you and we're so thankful. Thank you. We've really enjoyed working with the CML. Yes, let's give them a hand too, right? They're our medical <laughs> practitioners and they deserve it. Uh, we've also really had the pleasure of working with the CML network, which Al just mentioned, and Inspired Health, who helped us tailor some of our content and also to help provide some of our speakers for today. I really want to extend a very heartfelt thank you to Dr. Flo Florian Kuchenbauer, who not only helped shape our conference, as our scientific director, but help find the speakers um, and handle all the many other requests that we've had for him. Honestly, this gentleman has been so generous with his time and we're so thankful. 
Thank you, doctor.